Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Juana and I am the Crafty Puerto Rican. So guys, today I have a ton of work to do. I have some orders to fulfill and it's going to be a lot. So um, I'm going to have to divide this into maybe part one and part two and maybe a part three. I'm not sure yet. I need to embroider um, one set of black towel, a set of hand towels, some kitchen towels. And also I had to do uh, a set of 12 dinner napkins. Um, so I thought I would bring you in, show you how to do it in case you're new or you have never done it before. So because it's such a lot of work and I only have a multi-needle, I might have to use the single needle. I'm not sure yet. So yeah, so let's get started. So these are the things that I'm going to be using for this project. Um, first, I'm going to be using the Mighty Hook fixture. This is a 7.25 um, fixture for the 7.25 mighty hook which is perfect for this project all right and i'm going to be using tearaway stabilizer you can use the pre-cut sheets which are um these are 10 by 11 or you can use the roll it doesn't really matter also we're going to be using the topper this topper is a water soluble stabilizer um so you know that every time that you do something that is for this kind of material like it's fluffy you should always put a topper on it these are the towels that I'm going to be embroidered. These are kitchen towels. I need to embroider two sets of two. And then um, these are the bath towels with the hand towel. And I had to embroider two sets um, of these ones. Um, I also going to be using um, my EM1010 Ricoma EM1010. Um, also, these are the designs that I'm going to be working with. These are for the kitchen towels. And these are for the bath towels. Yeah, so people, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, putting the stabilizer into the hook. This is the back of the hook. Um, I have all the videos that include how to um, work with this. Uh, I did the unboxing. I did um, the whole process of how to place it into the stand right here. Um, you can go back to my videos and check that out. Okay, so this is the... Tear away stabilizer right here. I'm gonna position the towel. I have already measured the towel and I'm gonna show you how is it that I did it. Okay. What I did is that I measured the height from here, from the bottom, to the top of the towel. It was around close to uh, four inches. And that way, when I do the next towel, I know I have to do the same measurements. This towel is 15 inches wide. So for my center, what I did was I divided the 15 um, and it's 7.5. Divided by two, 7.5. So this is a 7.5. This is the dot for the center. And the reason why I placed the dot in there is because if you put the design that I printed out uh, from Embrilliance software, um, it gives you the center of the design. And that's why I always do the printouts. Um, so I measured, I took this as a guide to put the center. I put the dot in here. Right here on the top of the dot and I folded the design based on this right on the center you see right here I did that to place that dot okay this is where the dot is so that's the center so now I know that for the next towel, I have to measure again the inches from the bottom to the top. This is exactly six and a half, six and actually it's seven inches. So for the next towel, I'm gonna do four from the bottom to here, and then the next one is gonna be seven inches. And hopefully all the towels are gonna have the same measurements. All right, that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, so. This is going to be like this. This is going to be the design. 
And the reason why I'm going to place the design facing this way is because I'm going to hoop the machine going this way. All right. Once I take it to the diploma, I'm going to show you how to turn the design around. Reason why I do this is because this hoop on the top has a little higher um, part of it that I don't want to be in the back to touch in the machine. So that's why I always, and I think I explained this in a previous video. So I want this to be facing me, this part in here. That's why I did that way. All right? So we have this in here. This is the top. I'm gonna put all the way back there. It's nice and positioned. And I'm gonna place the hoop in here. And what I'm gonna do is drop it, and it's hooked. I am gonna be using this. You know that I always use this in my embroidery designs um, to measure. Right now, the design, based on what I hit, is too close up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move. my towel lower, all right? So let's unhook this and move the towel lower. I don't want nothing near the frame, all right? So we're gonna do the same thing all over again. And this is much better. You see how it clears, people? That's the way I like it. So now I'm going to take it off here. I'm going to place my design here. That's the way it's going to go. And that way, every time that you repeat the same design, if you have like me, I had to do four of them. There are two different people. These are the initials. But for the one that is a set, because it's a set of two, I need to for it to look as close as I can, same height and everything, all right? Even though I have the toss, I like seeing my design. And that's it. So let's take it to the machine, people. So let's take this to the machine. And this is the part that I was telling you that is the longer part of the hoop that I like to have it towards me as opposed to the back, all right? Make sure that I have enough button thread. Did not check that before I start. Always check that before you start. That way you don't have to stop in the middle of the embroidery to change your button. And I have a new one, which is good. All right? All right, so I already have the um, colors in my machine. Colors are chosen already. So I'm going to rotate this because the design, if you notice on the screen, it's facing down, I want to face it up. So you are going to go to design set. So I'm going to rotate it the other way. I'm gonna go here to the F. and it has it rotated the way that I want it. And I'm gonna do okay, and it's there. So I'm gonna escape it. And then the next step we're gonna do is to um, trace it. What I'm doing is moving it to the center.
ein bisschen nach vorne. And I'm going to go ahead and trace it. Looks pretty good to me. I always trace it more than one time, just to be on the safe side. And I'm taking all the stickers out. Water soluble stabilizer. What this does for those who are new is that allows the design to look nice and crisp as supposed to be sink sunken into the fabric, which is very plush. So you want to make sure that, um, you know, when you embroider on this kind of fabric, the stitch is not going to sink inside. Giving you this kind of dull design, it's not going to look nice and crisp. I do tape it here. The reason why I tape it is because in the beginning, um, it might move. So I just want to make sure that the stabilizer is not going to move. Then you can take it. I don't need the tape for the whole thing. It's just to make sure that it's not going to move. Okay. Okay, people, so let's get started. That one is going, I'm going to start setting up the next one, okay? Okay, people, this is done. Let's take it off from here. So 
gonna stick it off the hoop. I have to put a sweater on because it was getting kind of chilly in here in this room. So I'm gonna be removing as much as we can from this. Later on, I'm gonna spray it to take the rest of it off. I have a way that I learned from another lady. Her name is Liliana. She has a YouTube channel, and she, instead of putting the water on the front, she sprays it from the back once she re um, removed the turtle away. And um, she sprays it with water in the back and then she let it stand and then you turn it around and it comes easily, practically disappeared. Which that's what I plan to do with this one. Let me put these jump stitches in here. It came out so nice, so clean. I will clean it up in more detail later on. I just want you to have an idea how it came out, the stitch out, and it's pretty nice. When you do the tear away, just do it carefully. Okay, this tear away is pretty easy tear. I'm gonna link the site of this tear away on Amazon. This is the one that I always buy when I do the separate sheets. I buy the roll because the roll is wider and when I'm embroidering like larger design, then I use the roll. It gives me more width. This one is only 11, sheet, 11 inches wide. For the hoops that are like 13 inches wide, it's too small. Okay. I don't use, some people use sticky stabilizer um, tear away on this I don't on these towels if you put sticky stabilizer it's so strong that when you try to pull it it pulls all the strings out so do not use sticky stabilizer in your single needle machine for floating the item use the spray the basing spray this is best thing for this fabric not for all the fabrics for this fabric it happened to me once and I learned my lesson people I will take this off later I, I'll clean it up later. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to embroider the other one that is like this one, the part of the set. I'm going to embroider all the hand towels, um, which I have three left to do. And then when I'm done, I'm going to bring you back to do the bath towels with the other design. Okay, people, see you in a little bit. This one is going to be the uh, hand towel of the same set. Um, so I hooped it the same way that I did the kitchen towel. It's a different design. It says Merry Christmas. It's the same one as the bath towel, but the hand towel. So I'm going to start with this one first. See you in a little bit. So when I was tracing the design on the machine, it was too close to the hoop. It's a little bit bigger than what I thought. So I'm going to switch to the 8 by 9 hoop. So with this one, I'm using the backing holder. You see me doing this before. It helps me to hoop it easier with um, placing the stabilizer so it doesn't move from place to place. If you want to know how to use the backing holder, you can um, go back to my older videos. I have videos explaining how to use this backing holder. It helps to uh, hoop the... Um, garment without having to use a, a hoop master if you don't have a hoop master okay so i'm gonna do this in here i'm gonna place a towel and um if you know the demarcation this is this was from the other hoop you see the difference in size yeah so i don't like hooping items to the machine with a mighty hoop that are too close for comfort because I, i'm not going to be risking um heating the frame of the hoop and messing up my machine. So I always like to have plenty of space like this. So now I'm gonna have to also adjust the arms of the machine for the eight by nine because we were using a seven by seven hook before, okay? After this one, I'm gonna embroider the same design on the bath towel. So this is done, this looks good. 
So all I have to do is Center, let me just put a little bit more to the center here. This is much better for me, much better. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the arms of the machine and I will take you to the embroidery part, okay? So I'm gonna place this in here. Now, make sure you take off the backing holder before you hook this, don't leave that thing that I showed you, the backing holder, this ring, don't leave it in the hoop for embroidery. Make sure you take it off before you start embroidering, okay? Here. Now I'm getting hot. <laughs> Before I was cold. Let me take this hoodie off because I am sweating now. It's been a long day. Okay, now I feel better. <laughs> so this looks good. This looks good. Okay, with this eight by nine, I am because it's a mighty hoop. You know that this machine do not come programmed to use mighty hoops. I'm, I'm choosing the D hoop, which is the original size of the Ricoma. So for this one, I'm using the D hoop. All right. Same thing I did with the um, 7x7. Because they don't have compatibles in sizes. So you have to use the next size over to make sure that you have the clearance that you need. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to trace this again. Okay, so I have plenty of space. I feel better for that. Let's take this center dot off. And let's put the um, topper. So let's get it started, people.
this one is done i'm gonna take it off the hoop this turned out to be gorgeous i have another hand towel to do and two back towels so i'm not gonna show you those ones i'm gonna show you at the end because it's the same design okay i'm gonna show you the hooping of the bath towel but then everything is the same design a little bit larger okay they so shows the bright color towel because this t-shirt came out amazing just amazing I will take the rest of the way that I show you how to do it but so that you have an idea how it looks it's beautiful this is the back it's clean clean I mean the tension is just perfect on this machine so I already finished cleaning the whole back nothing and everything is nice and clean. I took all the uh, topper, all the water soluble, and it's nice. So the next thing for me to do is the bath towel, which, like I said, is the same. It's a little bit bigger. And I'm going to be using the same hoop, the 9 by 8 mighty hoop. All right. 9 by 8 or 8 by 9 so I will see you in a little bit, people. Okay, so I'm going to bring the back towel. And because this is a long towel, I hooped it um, this way with the short part on the top and the long one in front of me. And of course, um, because of that, I had to put the design um, facing that way. So I rotated it. It's already being rotated on the machine, all right? That's why you see it um, backwards. If I would have done it the other way, this long part of the towel would have been back here rubbing. It was too much. It is too much. So when those things happen, all you have to do is just hoop it um, the other way and then rotate the design on the machine, okay? said before this is the same design but a little bit a little bit larger not much larger just because it's a bath towel I switched the dimensions a little bit to make it a little bit bigger but it is the same design as the hand towel and it has the same colors and all the colors have been set on the machine already so we're gonna start it I'm gonna center it like the other ones and you know the drill so I'm not gonna video this part because you've seen it a couple of times in the video okay Okay, I already um, traced it, centered it, and applied the um, water-soluble stabilizer, which is the topper. So let's start, people. I just hang the towel here so it's not much weight into the hook and I don't want to lose any registration. So that way, you know, I'm hanging there. I could have also hang it down here on the hat hook. That's another good idea. So, yeah.
bag is, um, is, is finished. This is the first of the bath towel. So I'm gonna clean this up. I will see you at the end. The bath towels you saw. This is the way it came out. Gorgeous. So now that I already sprayed this, I waited for a couple of minutes, but all I have to do is, you see how easy it comes? You don't have to do anything to it. It just melts. You don't have to pull, you don't have to do anything. It just comes up. No pulling, no nothing. And you see how it's not its not drenched of water? I didn't put my, it's, you know, because it's not that wet, but it just detaches um, the, um, stabilizer from the back as opposed to you having to um, wet this a lot and then it's all wet you have to wait for a dry sometimes you have to put it in the dryer you know no no that it's done you can either do it in the beginning before you tear the big pieces or you just tear the big pieces and then um, do this part okay it's all done so guys, I was able to complete everything. These are two separate orders, and this one are two separate orders also. These two sets. This is a set, this is a set, and those two are separate sets. Um, I was able to complete some other stuff, but I couldn't include it in the video because this video was running very, very uh, long. This alone was a whole day of work. Um, because like I said, I only had the one multi-needle. And at the end, I ended up using my single needle for the other job that I need to do. But I will bring you in in the part two of the things that I did, okay? Well, guys, this is the end of the um, embroidery for me. Um, it is already um, evening. It's about 8.30 at night. And I started early this morning. Um, it took me a long time to complete everything. Um, I just have one thing to do, but I'm going to work on that tomorrow. So thank you for spending this time with me. Um, if you're new to my channel and you like this kind of content, uh, consider subscribing to my channel, The Crafty Puerto Rican. I always try to release new content every week. And, and also, guys, don't forget to give me the thumb up if you enjoy this content, okay? So, guys, I will see you pretty soon. I will see you later. Bye-bye. Hasta luego.